So, welcome to Tales to Morrow. I'm Morrow, your tiefling for today, and I'm going to be reading some RPG horror stories. Before we begin, I got a legit question. Who out there plays tiefling? Because I'm not going to lie, it feels like not a lot of people in my campaign play tiefling, and from most of my friends that I know aren't tieflings. So I'm just kind of curious if tieflings aren't that popular. It seems like they would be, right? Devilish looks, elven ears, the horns, the whole thing. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, DM Railroad's campaign hard. I found this campaign through a friend, the DM. I told her that I had wanted to play and she invited me to her campaign. She had said that the other players were really aggressive and was killing everything. So it worked to help me make my character, complete noob, and start playing. I started in the kitchen after coming through a hole in the wall when the rest of the party, after a long battle, came to loot. The DM was insistent on us messing with the stove like, there's a stove in a room, do you touch it? Do any of you mess with the stove? Constantly. None of us do, and our cleric does an arcana check, rolling a 19. The DM says that he spotted nothing. The DM asked again if we mess with the stove. No one does. So the DMPC goes and messes with the stove. Then ghosts appear and party fights her on this. And the ghost is removed. Later the party is trying to cross a river. The cleric, who is the strongest character in our party, swims across and gets attacked by a siren, who doesn't sink for some reason and begins to get dragged underwater. The cleric attacks the siren and the DM blows up at us. The DM is angry that we didn't try to pacify it instead of attacking it, saying that we are in its home and it was just defending itself. Our cleric, the one who got attacked, responded by saying that I got attacked too and this is a public road. How many people have died to this thing? DM, it wasn't trying to kill you. It was dragging me underwater. The DM then yells at us saying that it was an important character and that we needed to be kinder. The DM then just says that the encounter never happened, just like she did with the ghost. The party tries to talk with her about this, but she hides when we go to talk with her. We set meetings, she doesn't show up. I went and found her. She cried, saying it wasn't fair that they were only protecting their own territory. It was only self-defense. However, they refused to let the players have self-defense. I left the campaign after that, joining the Clara campaign, who also left. I mean, it's not the hardest to see people railroad a campaign, but yeah, it's a little bit weird. Like, you know, if people don't want to touch the stove, if you do want to be like, there's a very clean looking stove with very shiny metal parts. It looks like it might be something interesting, potentially a magical item. You know, some just got to give it some sort of flavor text, but the, the players decide whether they want to interact with it or not. Don't just be like, do you touch the stove? Do you play with the stove? Screw it. I'm going to let my DMPC play with the stove. Like, don't do that. That's super hard railroading. And the siren, uh, if the siren didn't want to be attacked, it probably should have been like, Hello, hi, how's it going? You know, start up being friendly, not trying to drown a player. Yeah, I'm not going to be very vocal if somebody's trying to drown me. Sorry. Player tries to blow up the party on three separate occasions. For some background, this is a Star Wars fantasy flight game set soon after the destruction of the first Death Star. We're playing as a ragtag team of rebels that consists of a Chadrafan mechanical engineer, me, her slicer droid companion, a meathead farm boy with a good heart who serves as the muscle for the party, and an old Mon Cow space captain, the titular player. You know, I gotta be honest, I kind of really want to play like a Star Wars TTRPG. The only TTRPG I've ever played was D&D. But I kind of want to try some of the other ones, like Call of Cthulhu, Star Wars ones, Pathfinder. The first incident occurred shortly after wrapping up the first story arc on one of the planets in the sector and we were heading for another. There was a large imperial presence on the world as it was in an open state of rebellion. There was a member of the Rebel Alliance we were being sent to assist with. Because of this, there was a more bureaucratic red tape to get through before we could land and we were hailed by an Imperial air traffic controller. This was a while ago, so I don't really remember how the argument went. But needless to say, there was indeed an argument between the captain and the controller, which probably wasn't a great idea to get into with the person who controls if we get on the planet. Predictably, the ATC doesn't allow the root space captain who refuses to follow protocol to land. Oh well, I guess we could try coming back later when they aren't working or borrow a different ship from a rebel fleet, right? Wrong. 
The Mon Cow player, who now bears a grudge against this low-level Imperial employee, wants to fly their way down regardless. The rest of the party don't think it's a very good idea, and decide to mutiny and try to force him off the ship's controls. Now, the session before was our first real chance to stock and gear up, since we had started the game and I decided to buy four plasma grenades and give one to everybody. I figured that could come in handy against the stormtroopers we could be encountering on the next planet. The Mon Cow player had other ideas though, evidently unhappy with the notion of his ship being taken away from him even momentarily. The captain decided to fish out the very same grenade and threatened to blow up everyone and himself. Luckily, I passed a coordination roll and immediately confiscated it from them and the situation was handled, went back to a different ship and eventually made it to planet side. Yeah, don't blow up your party, I don't think anybody's gonna enjoy that. If you wanna like it, I don't think they would either. Flash forward several months, and there is now an all-out war on the streets of the capital city, and we are helping the rebels there take district after district. Our current objective is to blow up a bridge to keep Imperial armored infantry and tanks from crossing into the territory. As we arrive on the scene, a ship lands directly behind us and outsteps the bounty hunter from the farm boy's backstory. They begin to fight, and me and the droid player take the opportunity to plant the explosives before the Imperials decide to cross, leaving the farm boy and the captain to take on the bounty hunter. For more context, Farm Boy is essentially the party tank. They have solid defense and insane brawling stats and a gauntlet with a shield they bash people in the face with to go with them. So they immediately go to close the distance and engage them in melee range. Unlike every other encounter, however, the only person left to shoot at is the person they're engaging. This means that the Mont Cow player wants to shoot the bounty hunter but rolls badly. There is a high likelihood of shooting the teammate, which they do end up doing once or twice. The encounter goes on and Bounty Hunter is proving to be an equal for Farm Boy in melee combat. It's not looking great. This is where I think the Mon Cow player starts to get frustrated and they decide to take out their other weapon. Now between the session with the first incident and this one, the Mon Cow player got their hands on a rifle with explosive property. I don't exactly remember how. You might be thinking that this should have been a red flag considering, but no one really cared about the first incident all that much, except for making a joke about it every now and then. The grenade wasn't really strong enough to kill any of us outright, and none of us thought the GM would make the consequences fatal had the worst case happened. Plus, one or two sessions before they had made it use the rifle to great effect, this would not be such a case. Moncal fires the rifle directly at the two of them and hits Farm Boy, who's critically hit and HP goes down past zero. Unfortunately, the bounty hunter is injured but still standing as Farm Boy took the brunt of the hit. It's important to note that in Star Wars, you don't make death saves when your HP goes to zero like in D&D. Instead, when you get critically hit, you roll on the crit table and take a wound of some kind. The more crits you have, the higher you are likely to roll with the highest rolls being death. Farm Boy had 2-3 crits before his encounter, so the probability of such an outcome was becoming increasingly likely. Seeing that the bounty hunter was still alive, the Moncap player readies up for another shot. Threatening her that he doesn't care if the Farm Boy lives or dies, he'll blow them all up just to spite her if it comes to that, etc. I believe he does fire at them and crits Farm Boy again. I recall the image of him shooting his prone, unmoving body with an explosive round. But it's been a while, so I could be misremembering. Either way, the bounty hunter decides to back off and go lick her wounds. Well, it worked, didn't it? Is all the Mon Cal player would say. There's probably a different weapon that could have used to try to assist or help that wouldn't happen with friendly fire. Like, accidents happen, sure. Bad wills can happen, sure. But then you don't just keep going and say, like, you know, I'm gonna keep on firing towards you and I don't care what happens to the farm boy. Because you know what? The farm boy player, probably not gonna like that. It's kind of messed up. You don't blow up your party members just to kill the enemy. The player is just being selfish and just really wants to get the bounty hunter. Hey, how about you assist the down player first before or get the bounty hunter. Or hey, don't use weapons that are gonna cause friendly fire. More months pass, the planet is free and we've been on a few more adventures. We're about to set off for another one where we notice a distress signal coming from a lunar colony nearby. The power is out in one of the domes and we use the ship internal power to open the hatch so we can go inside to investigate. The place is like a ghost town. We can't seem to find anyone. The gym has a farm boy make a roll and a fail, leading him to get hit by a sniper shot in the chest. Bounty Hunter's back. Though, like I said, a farm boy is a tank, so it honestly wasn't too bad. His spacesuit was penetrated, however. The DM took his time, and several others, to warn that if it's too much damage, 
like say from an explosive round happened to the dome it would depressurize and anyone up wearing a helmet or with a perforated suit would die the session continues and we are essentially pinned down in a drawn out long range firefight admittedly it was fairly frustrating as only one of us had a weapon reasonably capable of engagement at that range and the dice were not rolling in our favor for my part, I tried stealthing closer to her location, but was spotted and critically hit twice, taking me out of the encounter and perforating my suit. At this point, Mon Cow player had enough and says that they shoot at her with their explosive rifle. Ugh, the DM told you not to... Uh, okay. It misses, and the GM makes a roll and says they hit the side of the building. This doesn't deter them at all, however, and they want to go for another shot. Farm Boy doesn't like that and goes to knock the Moncal captain out. This causes a huge argument between them on one side and me and the Farm Boy player on the other as we obviously didn't want to die. They said that they don't know what else they were supposed to do. That it was the only option available for them and the correct strategic decision. The back and forth went out for 15 to 20 minutes, or at least that's how it felt. It honestly really upset me with how callous they were being and taking a risk that didn't even affect them as their suit was fine. As I said before, don't do things that are going to screw over your teammates, it's a cooperative game for crying out loud. Work together, find solutions together. You don't need to explode the entire dome and attack the enemy with an explosive rifle if it's going to cause your teammates to suffer and potentially die. The DM even said specifically, hey, don't use the explosive rifle, don't use the explosive rifle, don't do that. What are you doing? Are you exposing the explosive rifle? All right, everybody's going to die now. Uh. Especially after I suggested that. If they were okay with taking such strategic risk, they put their own neck on the line and try charging them with Farm Boy, since she can't shoot everyone at once. They didn't want to do that for reasons beyond me and insisted on their first course of action. At some point, I just left the call and told the GM to let me know what happened. Eventually, the GM messaged me and tells me I have been revived. They defeated the bounty hunter somehow, didn't really ask for the specifics as I was still sour from the whole situation. When we landed back on the planet to rest up and everyone was sleeping, I asked the GM if I could make a stealth roll. Sure, what for? I want to steal Mon Cal's rifle. The Mon Cal player was not happy with this, to say the least, but they failed their opposing roll and my sneaky little bat made off with it to sell for credits. This in turn started another argument to the extent in which Mon Cal's player was threatened to kill my character next session or fly off and abandon the party and we really didn't know how it was going to turn out. This is definitely the closest the campaign has ever come to ending for a multitude of reasons. Thankfully, we didn't play for a few weeks because of scheduling, and everyone cooled off and things ended up fine. We're still friends, although they aren't being invited to the Pathfinder game Farm Boy is doing to start jamming. So yeah, that's the story. It's best to solve these sort of things outside of character, like I get it, yeah, you're upset with the Mon Cal player having the explosive rifle, so you decide you want to steal it and sell it, right? I get it, but like, you probably should just tell the guy, like, dude, the explosive rifle and all these explosions just makes it so much more difficult and not fun to play when at any moment, at any whim, anybody could explode, whether it be friendlies or the dome or whatever. You talk it out of game and then bring it up to the DM say, listen, this is becoming a really big problem and I think it's going to be, you know, ruining things. I'm glad you all are still friends and everything, but solve this stuff out of game. Either way, a Monkey player kind of sucks. But you know, glad things out went pretty well and I'm glad they started the Pathfinder campaign too. And that'll be our stories for today. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Hope you liked the stories. If you want to answer any sort of feedback or give your own thoughts on any of the stories that we read here today, feel free to. Also, i am decided I'm not going to go for extremely long videos for this stuff. Like, I'm thinking maybe either just a real long story or one medium, one short. One medium, one short, you know. So the videos don't exactly drag out like 40 minutes or something. 